gonna be a real quick one. It's about to get dark on me, but I had enough time to get out here. Do a quick one. Let's see if anybody wants to join in on the mayhem. Sent it, sent it out what's up mikey dude i was doing a short it's gonna and i was gonna edit it real quick and put it out there dude it's gonna take for, forever to edit that thing gavin what's up we probably won't get that many guys in here but we're running a strain of bad luck turtle turtle what's up my brother al joseph what's up I, I i was gonna do a live What's up, Leon, my man? We got Manuel's in here. Heck yeah. I was going to do a short, y'all, and I, and I did film it. I don't know how it's going to turn out. Uh, it's just going to take a lot of editing. I was going to try to knock it out real quick. Well, how do you do, Hillbilly? What's up, Alan? But we're going to pattern test uh, this right here. So what I'm going to do, the, the shots I already took, I already took with the uh, this hit the rabbit. I'm just going to mark them. That way, I can see what's going on. Let me go set it up. Guys, I am in no way saying that these things, well, you know, that you can go hunting with this, and this is what to do. I'm pattern testing it on a picture of a rabbit, okay? So, we'll just see. And we're all, also, guys, I brought a hodgepodge of 8 mil here. We're going to try some 8 mil out of it, too. It's trying to get dark on me, so I've got to hurry up. But I got my 17 cal BBs. What's up, Robert? Now I've counted it. I, I let them spill out and I wallet it around. And when I do that, it holds anywhere from 20, 22 to 25 BBs, something around there. Okay, and I haven't had any to hit my slingshot yet, or anything of that nature. But I have found that you want to get them nice and packed in there. I'm coming up. Yeah, it's buckshot time, baby. Don't worry, I'm working on a way so that we can have these things preloaded and ready to go. I'm working on it, guys. Dang it. See, every time I do that, it unwinds. All right. I have no idea. Like, I took a few shots with it, but I don't know where to hold yet. It would take a few shots, so let's just see. Just in time. Yep, just in time for the fun, Zach. Here we go. Hits with authority. I shot high that time. But I got three three in the head. I shot high up here. But I got three in the head. One, two, three. And one in the lungs. One over in the spine. And the rest of them are up high up here. Can y'all see that? Let's try that one more time. Oh, let me mark them. The ones that's hit him. Now this would take, that guys, if you were going to actually do this and try to hunt birds with it, it would take you some uh, some practice to figure out where this thing's hitting. I had one in the butt too. So uh, I marked this one in the toe.
What do y'all think about it? Is it fun? Oh, was you live, corn worker? I'm sorry. I didn't know, brother. I'm gonna just knock this out quick because it's running out of daylight. And uh, I checked. I checked my notifications to make sure nobody was live. But apparently they didn't send me one. If if you was live, I'm sorry. I I, I mean I physically checked and didn't see it. All right, so let's get the BBs all nice and in there. Nice and loaded up. Let's see if I can get it a little better this time. I think I was aiming actually a little high on that one because I thought they would drop. But you could put some heavy uh, flats on here and really scoop this stuff. That one might have been too low. I scattered the ground a little bit. Yeah. Scattered the ground. I'm gonna take a shot off in the dist off away from the board to see where this thing's patterning at. So I know where to hold. Because when you're shooting up against that white target, you can't see nothing. I can't see where the BBs are going to save my life. So I'm gonna shoot off to the side there and see where it's going. Didn't really help me, but they're so tiny. <laughs> All right, let's try this. I think I got three on him that time. That's not even worth showing. None of them were kill shots. One, two, three. One, two, three. I mean, they might have been kill shots, but. Tell you what. One more shot with the BBs. I'll aim just a little bit. I'm aiming right dead center of his belly. This is fun though, like figuring this out, like getting your, figuring your pattern out. You're going through a lot of BBs, but it's really fun. All right, let me aim a little higher this time. Then we'll go to the eight mils. There's a loud smack. There's all on the target this time, but it's still high though. Another one in the head. I got two in the head, one in the neck, and three on his spine. So I got two in the head, one in his neck, and three down his spine, which all would have probably been kill shots. But let's, I don't have much time, so. What we got going on in here? I mean, they're not made for this turtle. They're not made for, for rabbit. They're made for shooting, like going, fe uh, not pheasant hunting, but quail hunting and stuff like that. That's what they're made for. I don't think I would ever attempt these on rabbit. It's for moving targets in the air that are moving. But uh, I got three eight mils. That's what, that's what fits in there. And you got to stack them in there like a triangle, like a pyramid. 
that's a little bitty and by the way that's a tiny bunny like that's a that's an alabama field bunny size that's not a swamp bunny it's probably this big it's a tiny bunny so if it's a regular size rabbit he'd be dead all a hundred times over eight mil steel Ooh, now that would do some that would kill him that would definitely All right, I think one of them went down here. I got one in the neck and one in the heart. There, there, and I think down here. So that's uh, three inches, less than three inches. Let's try it again. I think it'll probably hold three of the three eights, to be honest with you. It'll probably hold three of those pretty good. Three more. Load it up here. Ooh, that's a that's a 9.5. I don't know how 9.5 got in my 8 mil bag. Put that in my pocket there. All right, here we go. Can't tell where I'm hitting because it's so dark out here. Kind of pattern in the same. Let me try. Let me try scooting it over a little bit. See if it. See if I can get anything that way. Any different. I mean, both of those would have killed that rabbit. No doubt about it. This has enough energy to kill that rabbit. I mean, I wouldn't do it like this, but I'm gonna aim for more of his body this time. Let's see what happens. Yeah, I've seen. Two of them went right above his back and one of them hit him. Yeah, on that shot, on that shot, you had these two here. And then one hit this spot again. Or it could have been right here, but it was one of these little, one of these. It went in one of these holes. But let's try. Let's see what it'll do with 3.8. I drew a circle on there, and I'm pretty sure that's too small. Oh, dude, do I even have it? Let me see if I got any 3 -H. Oh, come on. Don't tell me I don't have any 3 -H with me. Let's check this bag. My bag of goodies. Oh, man. I didn't bring any with me, y'all. Thought I had some with me. I have one, that's it. So we'll hold off. We'll aim at that circle. We'll aim at that circle with three more of these uh eight mils.
I mean, you got enough room in there. You might could shoot four, but I'm afraid it might would like something would slip and get you a fork kit or something. But let's try to I'm aiming for that circle in the top left corner. They kind of hit all around the bottom of it. I mean, one of them made it in there, but it tells me I gotta aim higher. All right, I'm gonna get it up there where it's nice and clean. Yeah, there you go. You gotta ignore this one, that was one from the first shot. That right there was those three eight mils that I just shot. That right there, there, and there. So, if you stack them in right, you get a good pattern. Let's see if I can get a pattern over here. Let's mark these. And these aren't these aren't the uh, the black the black tubes are, are more powerful than these. I'm using the wrong tubes, but this is just what I had made up. So that's what I'm using. Drop three in here, dude. It's fun, Rex. It is fun. Let's see if I can get three more in that, or at least another one in that little circle. Like if you can consistently hit that circle. With three of these, I would say yes, you can hunt rabbit with these. Now, I wouldn't hunt rabbit, or especially squirrel. Squirrel's tough as nails. With the with the BBs, I would hunt birds that are flying, and that would be about it. Like quail or something. Ooh, y'all. Woo! Right there and there. And I think the other one went right here. I'm not 100% sure, but I think that's it. It landed down in there somewhere. So what do you guys think? Let's, uh, let's turn the box around this way. And I'm going to aim dead center of the box with BBs. And this way we'll see what one pattern shot looks like. Okay? Excuse me. Ooh, the top of my BBs come up and there's BBs everywhere. All right, guys, so now we're going to 177 BBs, 17 caliber BBs. What's up, Rob, my man? We're shooting some scatter pouches today. Bum, bum, bum. I didn't load as many that time. I didn't even spill any out that time. Usually I load more than I should. And I spit oh, one fell out. But, uh, so there's probably not quite 25 in there. All right, I'm just gonna aim center of that box, and I'm not. I know they're probably gonna drop low, but I just want to see where I'm hitting because I couldn't see where I was hitting earlier. I had too many shots on the. It might, not, it might be hard for y'all to see, but you see the ones that are dark? That's the, like one, two, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, 
14. Let me count them again, make sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's two. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14. Mm. Ooh, that's loud. 14 of them, and the rest of them probably went a little high. If I had to get, if I had to guess, because it does kind of disperse more up and down than it does side to side, just because the uh, the idea behind the you know the way the pouch works, it's going to spread them this way more than that way. So I think it would be great for guys wanting to get out and just have fun, you know, actually go out and what we used to call stomp the grass, you know, just walk through the fields and hunt quail, you know. Hazel, what's up? It would be awesome. Use them for the knockdowns, yeah. I'd be afraid you'd miss because that's the downside of these because these are the small pouches. Uh, 25 BBs at the, in the grand scheme of things isn't that much. And you got to think, if you got a two foot by two foot pattern with 25 BBs, you're looking at about a two, two and a half inch group between each BB if you get them like... It gives you a much more chance of hitting something that's moving in the air. But as far as shooting at a stationary target, this is a no-go, in my opinion. But it does, we'll shoot one, like, we'll shoot one shot of the eight mil this way, so you can see good impressions going this way. And then we'll stop and we'll call it quits and talk about what we did. Yeah, You know, the 8 mil works surprisingly good. I wish I would have brought some 3.8 steel with me. That, that It's getting dark, or I would have ran and got some. It's already almost dark out here. It probably looks pretty light to y'all, but... Been sanding all day. What's up, Timmy? Tim, my man. All right. That's how I stack them. I don't know if it's the best way to stack them, but I stack them. I don't know if y'all can see that. I kind of stack them in there in a triangle, like a... Dang, it's hard to do that without them falling out. Y'all can't see that. But, uh, stack them in there like a triangle. This thing would be dangerous with a marble in it. All right, I'm going to aim dead center of that target. That's kind of funny. Two of them went through the same hole that time. There's like right back side to side, side by side there. Hit there and there. Can y'all see that? One hit. Right. You can see this one plain as day, but you can't see this one because it's not. They pull it back so you can see. There you go. One hit there, one hit there. And the other one hit right here. Eight mil hose. Yeah, fun. So now we can. Only four. What 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 happened? Only four. Oh, only four thumbs up. There's mine says twenty or nineteen. But guys, it's getting dark out here. What do, I mean, what do you think? It's very fun to dabble in. Uh. It brings excitement to something that otherwise you're just used to to come out like you're used to coming out and you're trying to hit certain targets and you're, you're trying to get better you're trying to do these things this right here brings back just pure fun like no other reason than just pure fun Rob I'll send you one when we get some more in brother I'll send you one I got you buddy We don't have any in stock, or I'd send you one now. Did Carol? Did uh? Did did Trev? Did Trev Cat? Trev Cat make it? I no sweat, no sweat, brother. But guys, this thing is awesome. If nothing else, it brings a smile to your face. Extremely fun. And we should have ordered way more of them. We're sorry that we didn't. Sorry about that. But we didn't think they were going to sell that guy that much because, you know, most shooters are strictly. I want to hit the target 
and hit it as many times as I can. But we didn't realize how many people still like to just get out in the backyard and have fun. And that's what this does. Can you use it for hunting? Yes. Uh, I would most definitely get out and I mean I would put in the work with it, shoot it, and learn how it patterns most of the time because it's going to be, you know, periodically doing what it wants to do. But Yeah, man, you got to shoot it outside, that's for sure. Uh, the BBs will be all over the place. And make sure you load it outside. But it's fun. Uh, like I said, if you, you could hunt with it, put in the time, learn your spread. But I, me personally, I'm not telling anybody what to do. I would just strictly use it for uh, bird hunting, quail hunting, like, you know, stomping the fields. And the cubby of quail jump up and they do their little motorboat. You draw back and shoot and get one or two of them. You know, that's the idea behind this pouch that and just having pure old fun like i just had that was that was fun guys i'm not gonna lie and say it wasn't it got me to shoot an eight mil like that don't happen often right it got me to shoot an eight millimeter still so let me load this let me put my eight millimeter still back up so what did i let's see what kind of game is that? it is fun oh rob you got those dang uh those birds over there where you were shooting it and the these would be perfect for that because they won't damage the the actual silo there's no they're the uh i say these the beat the, the 17 cal bees bbs would be perfect for that because they won't punch holes in the silo uh, it'll hold three uh 9.5 as well jose holds them pretty good uh i didn't have i, I meant to bring some out here i thought i brought them with me but i didn't uh, loop tubes throws them surprisingly good like the loop tubes throws the three eight mil steels just as fast as it throws the bbs which is pretty amazing to me uh, if you wanted any more power you can always go to a thicker uh flat latex but of course they're not going to last as long uh these will last forever as, as long as you take care of them but uh yeah just Plano, awesome. Thanks, Brecker. I appreciate that, man. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe and hit that like button for me. What did Ethan say? I wish I had more quail here. First cubby in 15 years this year. What? Man, that stinks, man. Quail hunting is the funnest. Oh. This would, I'm telling you, this would be perfect for that because quail are not very tough animals. Uh, they're kind of like rabbit you breathe on them hard enough. They'll fall over and die. So there's nothing you got to worry about You know, is it an ethic, you know, ethic kill or whatever that they, they, their BBs will kill them easily. No problem They shoot as fast as a Red Rider BB gun and there have been many and many of birds killed with a Red Rider BB gun And this shoots 25 of them at one time So uh, it definitely will take bird no question. No question about it. Really, y'all? They're that they're that rare in Tennessee. Well, don't hold me to that because or, I haven't been home to Alabama in a long time. But when I was in when I was in in high school, all the way up to I was like 25. I mean, we we, we quail hunted every year. My dad never let me go dove hunting until like when I was I went dove hunting for the first time when I was probably 26. Because to my dad, uh, dove was a sacred animal. Like you know, the whole the Moses sent the dove you know kind of thing so my dad never let me go dove hunting until I was a grown man and made my own decisions but uh dove now that's a different story dove are tough they're a little tougher they're like pigeon they're a little bit tougher but still this this would take them that's crazy that y'all lost them like that dude why did y'all lose them did they get over over hunted or what Dude, this already went longer than I wanted it to. I just wanted, haven't seen any here in years. Rip, that blows my mind. I don't see any here where I'm at, but I'm in Texas, and I don't figure they'd like it here. Nothing but hard dirt and cactus. Uh, quail usually like sage grass. If you can find um, a wheat, wheat field or a sage field, they really love that.
Uh, morning dub, you're right, Rob. Morning dubs and turtle doves are really tough. Really tough. Uh, got the ringneck dove, which is really, really looks like a pigeon to me. I mean, they all in the same family, but they really favor a pigeon. Pheasants, now, I don't know, Leon, pheasant's a big bird. Uh, if it lets you get close enough, yeah, but I don't think a pheasant is going to let you get close enough to shoot it with this. I would, I would stick to one, one BB for pheasant, because they, they stay on the ground most of the time anyway and walk from you. They trot away from you. They don't fly unless they get really, really scared. Like the, the pheasant up there in the Black Hills of, of uh, oh God, why can't I think? North Dakota and South Dakota, man. Them pheasant get bigger, I mean, as big as chicken. They're crazy big. Thank you. Appreciate that. Appreciate it a lot. Wibby, is that how you say that? Wibby? Wibby? Yeah, they get big in the Dakotas. I am not exaggerating. They get big. I'm sorry I wasn't. I was trying to hurry up and knock that out before it got dark, guys. So sorry I wasn't paying attention to the to the chat. I wanted to do a video because I haven't done a video in a while, but I knew it was getting dark and it was going to take too long to set up. And uh, so I'm just going to knock out alive. And I may do another video on it and actually set it up nice and get a really big piece of cardboard so I can actually see the pattern and try to get it zoned in. And I'll work on it. would also be fun to figure it out if there's a way that you stack them in there, if it makes a difference. I'm going to make some Sabos for this, for BBs. So we'll see how that works out. Uh, nobody take my idea. Uh, we might even sell them if I get it to work. But, uh, yeah. No ropes, rooster. <laughs> but yeah, man, that's uh, that's about it. It's already dark out here, so I'm at the hospital. And my sister's having her second baby today. I told her she better hurry up because I'm leaving for the tournament tomorrow. <laughs> push it out, push it out. I gotta go. There you go, coin worker, y'all. Coin worker's going live after this. And if you were live when I started coin worker, I'm sorry, dude. I I literally checked the live stream or the uh, notifications to make sure nobody was running a live stream because I really didn't want to step on nobody. So if you was if you was live, I'm sorry. Uh, I just didn't get your notification. What's that? What's the fork you're using? This is the the prime fork tube shooter. Oh, you're going to go live too, Rob? Look, we got stuff to watch tonight, y'all. Boom. There you go. Guys, I just wanted to jump on here and show y'all this. I mean, what? before I get off here, what do y'all think about it? Is there something y'all interested in getting? And if you're not, I'm telling you, you really should. Because anybody that knows me knows that this is not like my cup of tea. But I am so glad that I told Mikey to send me one. It's really fun. It's not going to leave the slingshot now. Like, it's going to be on the slingshot all the time. It may have different tubes on it or whatever, but it will stay on this slingshot. So much fun. I can't even explain to you how much fun that is. Yeah, staying up past your bedtime. But yeah, man, it, I, I really hope y'all like them. I like it. I didn't really know what to expect at first. What really surprised me is how good it throws the 8 mil. Like, I knew it would throw the BBs good. I mean, and theoretically speaking, a pouch full of BB is probably way more than three eight mils. But it's still, like, it chunks them with authority. Like, I'm guessing 225-ish, 230-ish feet per second, maybe even 250. Uh, I wouldn't want a chronographic. I'd be afraid I'd bust my chronograph. But I'm telling you, it's up there. It's up there good enough to kill an animal. All right, folks, I'm going to get off here and let them go live. Uh, everybody, I think they're going to go live on Coin Worker's uh, channel. So keep your eye open for that. He's uh, Somebody post a link to Coin Worker's channel before we get out of here. And I'll make a long exit 
so they can see the the link and they can click on it or cop, copy and paste it if they're not subscribed but they'll be going live after me they're going to be doing a little shoot it'll be two guys uh just shooting in their basement having fun so make sure you catch fork shooter glad to have you in here brother i meant to say that earlier always glad to have you todd yep rob and coin worker on coin workers channel go check them out catch you on the flip